Hello viewers, today in this video we are going to learn about variant tables. Variant tables are used to store combination of values for characteristics. They can be used to infer values as part of the constraints and procedures. Variant table is defined for one or more characteristics whereby each characteristic has a column in the variant table. Let's take an example of smartphone. As we know, same series of smartphone will have different prices as its configuration is differentiated with the color, RAM, storage, etc. For this, I defined a class that has the characteristics phone series, color, storage, RAM and variant. Guys, if you did not watch my video that has creation of characteristics and classification, please do watch from the video link at the end of this video for better understanding. Now, execute the transaction CU61 to create the variant table. Input the table name and press enter. Input the table description and click on characteristics button. Here, click on new entries button and add your characteristics in the sequence and activate the checkbox for the characteristics which, have, which would act as key values. Come back from the screen set the table status to released and save the table. Execute the transaction CU60 to maintain the table contents. Input the table name and click on change button. Click on new entries button and insert your values in it. Once the data is maintained, save the data. How to use this table data in the variant configuration? We can use this table data using the procedure or constraint. So execute the transaction CU01 to create a procedure. In the dependency editor, add your syntax with the table as shown on the screen. Using the table in syntax, we are matching the table values with the value assignment of the sales order and then setting up the value for variant characteristic in the sales order. As we can see, the variant condition has been filled with the variant key from the variant table since the given value combination is found in the table entry. Let's see linking the variant table with the database table. In order to link the variant table with the database table, we need to have a database table with the same fields of variant table with same data types and lengths. For this, you may ask your ABAPA to help you in database table creation. Once the table is created, we can link the table using CU62 transaction. Input the variant table name and press enter. Enter the table name in the database uh, table field and click on field assignment button. Here, we need to map the field names with the characteristics. Once this activity is done, go back to main screen and activate the checkbox link active and save the variant table. Let's see transferring table content to the database table. We can transfer the variant table data using the transaction CU59. Enter the variant table Choose radio button insert or insert or change and click on execute button. Once the data is transferred, we can see a message with the number of records. We can see the table entries using the transaction SC16N. Enter the table name and click on execute button. As we can see, the variant table data has been transferred to the database table. Let's see tables and constraints. We can use the variant tables and constraints to infer the values to the characteristics. For example, I would like to infer the value for the storage on the base of RAM or infer the RAM on the base of storage. For this, we need to create a variant table with the characteristics storage and RAM as a key fields. Then maintain the required RAM and storage combinations in it and save the table data. Execute the transaction CU21 to create a constraint net. 
enter the constant name and press enter. Enter the description, select the radio button constraint net and click on assignments. Enter the name for constant net, select the row and click on dependency editor. Enter the syntax as shown on the screen. Under the objects, we need to declare a variant class with any value. In my example, I declared with the prefix rm. Under restrictions, we need to use the table data by matching the characteristics of sales order with characteristics of variant table. Under the inferences, we need to mention which characteristic needs to be inferred. In our case, I wanted to infer both storage and RAM. Release the dependency and save it. Execute the transaction CU42 and assign the constant net to the configuration profile. Now let's see the results in the sales order. As we can see, RAM is set on the basis of storage selection. In the same way, storage is set on the basis of RAM selection. So this is all about the variant table scenario. In the next video, I will explain about the variant function which is used as and when the business requirement is not fulfilled using the standard variant syntax. Thanks for watching this video. Shining off.